Hello, second graders. If you remember, yesterday we talked about present tense verbs, and we talked about how when we have one subject in our sentence, that we need to add S to our verbs in order for the sentence to make sense. Today we're going to talk about what happens when our verbs end in certain letters. So what happens if the verb ends with an X, S, Z, CH, or SH? And I have some examples here. So when our verbs end in those letters that I just listed, we can't just add an S to those verbs. We need to add an ES. For example, we have this sentence, the monkey reaches for the banana. So we know that our sentence has a singular subject, one subject, monkey, and we know that our verb ends with that ch ending. So when we add, when we have that ch ending, we need to add es to the verb rather than just an s. So then we have the monkey reaches for the banana. And that is an example of a sentence that makes sense. Let's take a look at the next example here. We have the monkey mix or mixes the banana together. So again, we're to have one subject, monkey, and we're using the verb mix. Now mix ends in one of those letters that we have to add es to. So we have the monkey mix or mixes the banana together. We know we need to have an S on it on the end because we have one subject. However, since our verb ends in X, we can't just add S, we need to add ES. So then our sentence reads, the monkey mixes the banana together. So let's look at one more example. The owl push or pushes the monkey away. So now our subject again is one, it's singular, and our verb is push. Now push ends in sh, so I know I want an s on the end of my verb, but since it ends in sh, that's one of those letter combinations that we need to add es to rather than just the letter s. And when we read our sentence, let's see if it makes complete sense as we read it. The owl pushes the monkey away. So again, what we're doing is when we have verbs that end in the letter X, S, Z, CH, or SH, and we're talking about verbs in the present tense, when they end in these letters, rather than just add S to them, we need to add E.